<laughs> hello, hello, my beautiful souls. Good evening, good day, good light. Uh, my name is Bexy Bex, and you are currently locked into Mind Over Matter Digital, your favorite poetry hub where spoken word meets and mental health meets music. Um, first of all, I just want to start by saying a huge thank you. Um, I think by my calculations, we're probably on day 3,000. Down. I'm not sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But even though we use some of those to take a little bit of break, realign the chakras, manage the mental, and the love that we got from you lot and our poets is just as strong as break. So thank you guys for rocking with us. And um, I don't say this a lot, but like I genuinely missed you guys. Like that is like the biggest compliment because that's only saved for my food, um, my mom, and my imaginary boyfriend that is somewhere in the future. So thank you guys. For any of the newcomers, if you're new to this channel, Mind Over Matter is a digital um, platform that is an independent project, which kind of like breaks down the stigma and widens the conversation around mental health by discussing it through spoken word, poetry, hip hop, and song. Yeah. Um, this is provided free of charge. Um, we do have a donation link that will be in the comments. So if you can, please, please do donate. If you cannot, likes and shares are really as much appreciated and are absolutely free. So send this live, send this live out to all of your favorite friends. Um, hit the subscribe button at the top, at the bottom, and the click on the notification, and you'll just get a heads up every time we go live because you're not going to want to miss it. We do it every Tuesday on the last. Um, so we're going to just jump straight into it. We've outdone ourselves with this comeback show, I must say. We've got like an absolute powerhouse of poets for you regulars and newcomers. So without further ado, please show some very first open mic for the evening. If you're in the comments, I want to see all of the emojis. The links for each person will be um, clicked on there. So make sure if you like your poet, go and follow them on Instagram or their socials and leave some comments. So, bringing up to the screen, can we have our first open mic? Simon Miguel, are you reading? That's to make some noise. I certainly am. Let me do some things. Awesome. So, Simon, if you just unmute yourself and the stage is all yours. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, one of my favorite poets, the African American. Dennis Smith wrote um, Dear White America about six years ago. And three years ago, another of my famous favorite poets, Ray Antrobus wrote Dear Hearing World. This is Dear Straight World. I've left earth in search of pink planets where rainbows flow in veins, a place where dark matter is not the murdering of my friends. I've left in search of the queer Tao. I do not trust how straight your God is. His hymns are beauty, his ceremonies camp, but his judgments are bent as hell. My grandma's hallelujah is K.D. Lang's Leonard Cohen. I crave the fate of Lazarus for Alan Turing, who saved 14 million from certain death, shortened the war by two years. Two years you threw him to take his own life. I'd unfurl Matthew Shepard's fingers from that prairie fence and all the other nameless black boys who have rotted on those trees. I'd bring to life Harvey Milk and the Pulse 49. I'd revive the Admiral Duncan Three and magic out 1,500 nails from spines and eyes and an unborn baby's head. I've left Earth straight, people. I'm equal part sick of your no one cares now. And your I had to come out too. Your queer sorrows are lost to hate crimes trebling. Lost when your kids try to die five times more often. Driven by your kids. Taught to bully. I'm sick of cutesy videos of a boy who comes out straight when a boy's true queer script is a disposable boy thrown out like a thief, a lost boy who finds a drag queen to be his mother, a father a trick who pays the boy's rent or pimps the boy's ass. 
I tried straight people. I tried to love you. But you ran a straight pride. When our pride is all about you anyway. Because queers can be too camp, too butch to live. Too straight, too black to live. Because queers can be too queer, too shamed to live. Because you stitched up Oscar Wilde's lips for telling the truth about love. Because James Baldwin, because Audrey Lorde, because Quentin Crisp, because Stormé de Lavery, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera. Yet, you erased us from other worlds too. Don't ask me if I knew Adrian, Michelangelo or Shakespeare were gay. Don't tell me again about Alan Turing, how you remember him with regret, how you pardoned him with an honour. That is no consolation to the half-eaten apple by his bed. All the 1,069 gay men who lay behind bars the moment he lay dead. Don't ask me about Auden, Sassoon, Brooke and Owen, my poetic heroes at school. Dulce e decorum, none est. There is nothing sweet and fitting about queer washing history. You taught me under the shroud of section 28 and 38 million shrouds of AIDS. You pretended I didn't exist. And I tried not to. I tried not to. But now I've left Earth for a universe where new stars really do turn a galaxy pink. I cannot wait to live by other gravity laws, to overflow in antimatter, to have that one thing. You cannot touch that one thing, you cannot steal. Thank you. Let's make some noise. That was amazing. Could you remind us of the title, Simon? The Straight World. The Straight World. I love that. There was a bit where you said you're going to leave this earth. Can you take me with you? <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Simon. And um, we're going to move on to our next open mic. So I am going to bring onto the screen the one and only Diliana. Diliana, where are you? I'm Amazing. here. Hi there. Nice. So just unmute yourself, and the screen is all yours. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Simon, for a wonderful poem. I really appreciated the science. That was probably not the, the, the main point for you, but I really, it's, it's something that, that really makes my eyes shine. So thank you very much for this. I am going to read a poem today that I have rewritten uh, a little bit. And so if you have seen me in some open mics, you might have heard this, but this is called My Name. <clears throat> My name is Diliana Stoyanova. My name is beautiful, but it lies heavy on some tongues weighed by many silent vowels and overweight stories cramped in the economy seats of letters made for two-dimensional two sounds. My name is an old word for a mountain flower with healing properties that calm the spirit. The irony is I suffer from anxiety. I think the medicine is in my roots, the roots that I did not plant in the foreign soils. My family name derives from a name given to a child, child born after the loss of a child. My name is a blood vessel, a ligament, a tissue that ties me to my people because you will not find my name in any other country in the world unless somebody smuggled it in, in a false tooth. My name is the string that ties me down and across the musical instrument we call family. After all, a name is the sounds that holds your, your image and identity, your personhood. Isn't it funny how it is the people that tie us and pull us and string us and tune us? Isn't it strange how they get to choose the note that the world will hear when we vibrate? Isn't it weird how some strings sound so beautiful and perfect, some are just a tiny bit off, some snap? Isn't it touching? 
how some tremble at the softest movement of air. Isn't it odd how some strings never move, or maybe they do, but we just don't hear it because they resonate with tectonic sonority. Isn't it magic? Powerful enough that the gods and demons are exercised and prayed to by pulling on that one string that ties them to the universe. Magic that we lay on other people's tongues the power to summon, to expel. My name has stretch marks from holding my memories, it grew hidden pockets to bear the stories of the people around the world who embraced it with love and respect. My name is difficult to say, and I get it. And I'm not mad when somebody mispronounces it, although sometimes I giggle because it's funny. I've sliced it and reprogrammed the filter in my ears and my brain that used to recognize only the correct pronunciation. I've rewritten it in different alphabets, painted it. I've dipped it in soy sauce and cooked it with Belgian beer. I played it on Japanese koto. I sang it with the voices of Italian opera singers and the chants of Sami Yoikers and Laplant. But even as I hold it out for you, the name that was given to me and taken until I made it my own, until I made it my gong that I sound every time I get on stage or on the screen. This name belongs to me. My name is Diljana Stojanova. Thank you very much. There is a small reason why I always introduce myself with my full name and now you know why. No, I get it. And I'm so glad you did. Like, honestly, what did you say? You will not find my name in any other country unless you smuggled it in a false tooth. Are you insane? Are you okay? Like, uh, yes and no, but do you, do you want to be specify or, or just like... <laughs> that, was, that was a complete sentence in itself. Yes and no. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Deliana. Um, we are going to move on to our next open mic. We have from Georgia, the country, not the state, got it right this time. Coming to the screen, everybody unmute yourselves and make some noise for the one known as D Chaos in the building. <laughs> what's up, what's up? How you doing? You can hear me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Um, just unmute yourself now and the screen is all. Right, I'm going to do something a little different today. I decided I'm going to play some music. Is that all right with y'all? Yeah. All right. Let's see if uh, you can hear this. Can you hear me well? Can you hear me well? This can do. 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 Bye. Grew in a time where I had to find strength to survive by. Was stuck in my really anxious mind, didn't know a blind eye. Was soon defined by false alliance, trying to untie my connection. See, give me false ideas as soon as poetry took my soul. I have no control how these words flow, and now my soul purpose is to tear a hole in these ant holes. Can't be a whole person focused on my own goals. Working, notice how my big goals focus. Sermons, you saxophone. Fear of what to off George to his high slow. I fell for their demands. Succumb to the thought that we were friends, and while we were shaking hands, they've been brutal and sons. We looked at but I'm focused now on my attacks. Got plans written out on paperback. You'll hear it soon. Everything is fluid. My therapy sessions in my music. I don't know what you've been told, but some folks will cut you down to a stump. It's not dendrology. You'll learn to see some best. It's only one to count your rings. I don't know what you've been told, but some folks will cut you down to a storm. It's not dendrology. You'll learn to see some bastards only want to count your rings. I'ma twist these words wrap right around your brain. Say it can't take to drive you insane. It dressed me a surf first in my name. After my mutation, I was spit for pain and accessories. You blessed to see me as I rise, but without the geese, I was excommunicated by a Polish priest for inhaling the smoke that plagued the east. Turn it to smoke, this ain't no joke. I was that one bloke who used to stroke. The very flames of hope with Ben coat that I choke my soul compared to yo don't want to stole my oats cause they're too cold got a who's woke I've had before so as soon as I woke I grabbed my cloak and then yeah, that's all folks all right that's it Ooh, make some noise that's all yeah. folks yes yes <laughs> yo. 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 that was really cool
Fire. So I guess you liked it, huh? One hundred percent. Yes. You did beautiful. beautiful. Like you gave us music, you gave us reps, rhymes, rhythm, and your internet is on point. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> It's because we all prayed for the internet. Like, we're just sending those wishes your way. Yeah, the internet works now. <laughs> Winning. No, I'm at a friend's apartment, so I don't know if you heard them cheering. No, it was perfect. Loved everything about that. Thank you so much for coming to the stage and blessing us once again. So we are going to keep it moving to our next open micro. We have absolutely loved this from the physical shows coming to your screen, show some cyber love and make some noise for it, Diamond. Bevel to the screen, where are you? Make some noise for Diamond, guys. <laughs> so, for those of you who have seen me perform live, Apologies, Diamond, if you could just unmute yourself and the screen is all yours. Hello. Can you hear me? Perfect. My name is Diamond Bevel. I'm the composer of words, the creator of music. My message to the world, if you decide to use it, is that you are not alone. I express this to music, spoken word and poetry, writing about the world around me that I see. And for those of you who may be expecting a freestyle from me and to add some words into the chat box, you can do. And we'll start on a journey as we grow together. So for those of you who are on the platforms, I'll have a look at both screens so you may see me looking up and down. And we'll go from there. As we look deep inside to where we once were before, maybe seeing that we could discover, but we would rather soar. So above those things which are high in the sky, because we are made of things more powerful than the stars, but when we look by, we maybe wonder why we could just be those people who see. Have you ever wondered what life would be like? Or have you ever wondered if the river braces for impact? As you, throw a, as you skim a stone across it. The reason I ask this is because we are looking for the ripple effect, how we can drop one thought into an ocean and it creates an alternate pattern. As we summarize by us, we look for so many things to maybe cause that chain reaction. But so many people want to look inside, especially whilst we see that we would rather hide from the people we wanted to be. So many people were doing this, but wish that they could speak freely to find the equation that they are the answer to. Because we would like to see that there is this burning sensation that allows us to amount to something that we were more than before. Let's use that figure that science so that we can continue to trigger our minds because that is the trigger that I fear the most. The trigger that I fear the most is the one that has the rasp of your tongue, but we see that it is sometimes second to none as we wonder why we didn't keep our mouth closed or maybe had paused for a moment so that we could reload and use a different type of ammunition so that we can give that exact precision, that exact decision so that we could understand that we are here to be living. In a space where we make people better than we found them, well, where we leave them better than we found them because we would rather surround them with love and joy instead of those things that, you know, deploy. The feelings of doubt, the feelings of fear, but we would rather hand a tissue to someone who is shedding a tear be a shoulder to lie on, a shoulder to cry on because we would rather live in a life in which we are more sincere. So let us, let that be your food for thought. Thank you very much. Bell, everybody. Was that a freestyle, Diamond? It was. Parts of it are thoughts that I had um, 
been thinking of during the lockdown. Mm. Yeah, touched my heart. That was very clear. And thank you for sharing that. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to stop posting now. It's Bex's job. Well, I absolutely agree. As we can split the revenue. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diamond. That was that was absolutely amazing, as always. Um, shout out to everyone that's in the comments. Um, Suri TV, we see you. And Breen and Solomon Adams in the building. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we are going to move on to our next open micro. We have coming to the screens, make some noise for the one and only Rohan Samuel. Make some noise, guys. Da -da -da -da. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, been waiting for this one. <laughs> no, the pressure is real. Um, all right, can you... Just unmute yourself and the floor is all yours. Are we good, yeah? Okay, so um everyone was really serious. And I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna play around with something. So it's it's related to knife crime, but um I'm bringing it back to the 90s with Pokemon. So um, this one's called Pokey Poke. Okay. I gotta catch them all. Ready to take on the world, snap back fitted. But do I have to poke a man to snap back onto society's fitted? How many young men have stood up ready to follow their dreams? Our Neanderthal nature has us battling to be the best. He has been kicked to the side so many times that his sidekick unsheathed will peek at you if you offer the beef. Roadmen posted up on every corner. Don't walk too close or they're calling for you. Ready to poke a man in his bowl will get sore till they squirt all the blood out of you. Man then will leave train your life in an instant. No teleportation moves to come off the roadside. Their psychic is mental entrapment. So if they try to dig it to find an outlet, they can't travel any further than six feet. And as you lay dormant, let the flowers bell sprout from the mist of your ashes. As the weeping bell shaped tears rises from your family's eyes. No victory bell shall play on this day. Where the lost souls travel to the graveyard. The last room he lay in was a coffin. His last breaths were described as wheezing. The blanket white sheets where his eyelids were drawn back were met with ghastly stares. The media looks on while the people are filled with haunter of another young boy gone. And you know that his gang gone uh, make sure that revenge is served on a dish of cold cuts. Now let that Charizard flame throw over your body for a while. The common concept that every killer rolls with blades of death and sleep street glory, sharper than a cipher, they stab and cut any living organism in their path, leave them sunken in the pits of my sand, shrewd courage, I may have the elite force status hidden in my blade, really I'm afraid, because another man's sand slash will have me leaking the venom that I need in order to preserve life, I used to think the road chose me, they showed me so much love, and all of the above didn't matter if a man had to get poked, I always showed respect to the elders. They were like gym leaders, but it was never about the physical battle. I always knew I had the skills to win. It was the addiction of winning that had my mind sinking and spinning when I became a slave to the blade because I couldn't live without it. Trying to cure my state of mind, hypnotherapy left me drowsy to the belief I could come off the roadside and fall back into my pokeball. Constant questions on my mind. Am I not cool enough if I straight rap a dash, fall in the cup before I get cut, knowing movie scenes, emotions bagged up? Is this how I envision my life? Pain and strife. Execute thy enemies one by one until I evolve my person to an executor. Take man's bread, plain, butter free, and use it as a muse to keep you a mu to reinforcing the statistic. Because man them can't be seen as men. Distorted thinking has them thinking that they should just be seen. No solar beam can shine the light in your inner darkness. So when people plead for you to put the knife down, they're looking for a star you to rise up. So believe you are star me and you can rise up. We don't live in a war tall, tall, torn country where the streets are reduced to graveler. Slave hands built the foundations of London, but now we have skyscrapers high enough to touch a dragon knight. They may be similar in heights of the council flats, but the interior is different. So should your interior motive. Shine come on, shine come on, shine come on. Sounds good when it rhymes, but the reality is brutal. For every shank that creates a wound brings about you to an atmosphere of gloom. Your reflection, the mirror starts to eat to your core until you become vile, plume. Look at yourself. Look at yourself as needle queens and needle kings. There's no replacing you. So when you think you need to run out the game because you've got yourself in a tangle up, just know that, the, just know that standing your ground is not just physical, but has mental implications to show. 
the lifestyle you won't be pressured by its tentacruel ways that you thought was tentacruel. The knife is nothing but a jinx. Took the kitchen blade and seasoned it with struggle. Hustle, <laughs> a little gentrified muscle. Gang and war was slow poke into the subconscious mind of the conscious youth until they became filled with polyrath. And I noticed every time I tried to turn a new leaf, I would see mandem and enemies alike, dressed in robes, clothes and souls alike. It felt like I was looking at Mr. Man. Do I take the escapist route, break free from the cocooner? It seems kind of oddish that I've been fighting like a primate with my knife ready to take a man's name and life and turn it into a cliff fable. There's no point to this. Where does the journey end? Are we just going to poke a man until it all ends? Blame it on things like B, drill, music and grind, uh, talking violence so their brains are in a muck. But the origin of increased knife crime has been shelled off from the public. You see, we can reduce knife crime. It's not an idea that's far-fetched. I mean, it ain't going to happen straight away. But if this generation can break the arcanine, archaic cycle, the next generation will be seeking a better way to strengthen life. We should not live in a world where we hide inside our pokeballs. And like Pikachu, I'm the one that wants to walk free. Oh my oh, God! Mate, mate, I told you, King of Flame, King of Flame, like no gas whatsoever. Take a bow, sir. Take a bow. I'll try. I'm sticking. Yeah, I thought I took you back to the mountains. Literally, mate, not worthy. Yeah, man, I thought I'd bring you back to the 90s on that one, you know what I mean? Um, I'm like, I'm a comic book fan, and I, I, I used to love Pokemon back in the days, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Team like, Mystic. I, I don't know. Mystic represent. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so. No, you, you definitely did that, man. You definitely did that. Like, normally I have, like, one line that I pick out. There were just too many. There were just too many. I couldn't. Uh, I think Sarah Louise James said it most in the comments. She was like, gotta catch them all. So many yeah, bars. Gotta catch them all. They're the, the, the most famous catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the love that everyone's showing. Do you know what I mean? Drop the um, link in the comments so people can try and find that again on the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I'm actually doing a video next week for it. I'm, I'm actually making a video for it next week. Um, so there's going to be lots of Pokemon dropping whenever I say, obviously, the Pokemon's names. Because, um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple hidden gems, you know. People weren't really feeling a few Pokemon back in the days, but they're all important. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is brilliant. And we were not ready. So thank you so much for blessing our screen. Um, we are on to our pen ultimate open mic for the very first half um, before we take a little mini break and then come back with another amazing lineup of poets. So we have coming to the screen, the one, the only, Mr. BYOB himself, Accord to the Stage. Everybody make some noise for Accord to the Stage. Yeah, 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 You need to unmute yourself. <clears throat> All right, I was not unmuted. My bad, dog. <laughs> Hello, okay. Mary Oliver in Wild Geese said, you only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it does. Let it for once feast on sugar. Very sweet in these open fields. Or if it's in the city, let it dance with the orchestra of living tribes. wake, scratch its neck and head, wrong its back and snuggle around the feet of someone it adores. It just stand on its numerous feet, prance around from rock to planet to field, till joy stuns its softness to sleep. Let it rest in a cuddle, eyes shut and breath from the heavens of the opens, from the heavens to the open deep, from fires to deserts from rivers to forests. Let it fall from forever to now. Dream till it loses its steel. Love like a fool. Feel like a fool. Be a fool. Let it snore and snuggle and lazy its day to slumber. Then cry and puke and crawl and be loved. 
let its tail wiggle in new ponds. And as it shivers and shudders from seas to dry land, let it run wild. Hair nonchalant, scream nonchalant, care nonchalant, stride nonchalant. You know it tickles as it reads and shuffles, wishing desperately to kiss the sunlight. There is no hard place that your soft animal has not burrowed into yet. Thank you. Make some noise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spoken though, but you ain't Mr. Oh, wow. Mr. Star Spoken, but you know you got some sun going. <laughs> like I swear, every time, every time I hear your poetry, I just kind of like want to find a duvet in a fireplace and just like rock myself to sleep. Like that was that was beautiful. Thank you so much. The imagery. Oh, so we are coming to our final open mic for the first half before we take a break. So I want you to show some big mind over matter cyber love for the one and only Holly D. Where are you? Make some noise for Holly. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. Go on, Holly. Go on, Holly. Go on, Holly. So much. <laughs> okay, Holly, if you just... Um, if you could just unmute yourself and the screen is all yours. Yeah. Can you all hear me okay before I start? Cool. Um, so this piece is an open letter to my brother and it's called Proud. Today I was proud. I know I'm not vocal. I didn't praise you out loud. We went from three people in this room to a big open crowd. You see, I say I am proud, but I don't always mean it. But after today, I now know what proud feels like to feel it. You said that you stuttered and had trouble recording. That's not what I witnessed. I was immersed and drawn in. Proud of you and your courage to open up to this stranger after years of struggling and putting your own life in danger. Oh, doctors have been throwing tablets, trial and error at a condition like a game. Try this one next, another one to numb the pain. They really should state a disclaimer. We won't be following up on this again. We all feel like they've forgotten about your original condition because each month sees a new set and meds to treat the side effects is becoming a tradition. Now, I know you're at the point where it's gone too far, but I get it. This cocktail of medication, opiates and benzos tan feels like an open bar. How many is too many? I get there's the pain, sometimes physical, others not. This pain, it often eludes us. The pain when your name has the doctors confuse us and when it's bad and you're laying sometimes for days, weeks, laying in bed with that continuous pain throbbing around in your head. I think back to when you told me it feels like you've been hit by a bus. So is pain why you stopped attending appointments or is it you simply don't want the fuss? Remember it's not your fault. Mental health care is underfunded, your pain management team are poor. And if I'm honest, I think Big Pharma has so much more to answer for because they're hooking people around the world legally, helping them to score as aid they're masquerading when in truth they're perpetrating and oh in truth they're perpetrating I'm just so glad for many that thought is finally percolating and I'm proud and I feel honored to be in witness of an honesty so pure even this new specialist was engaged and was gazed to the floor because he was proud to sit before a stranger with the bravery of a part ranger to open up how he feels like one of life's contradictions whose condition has led him down a slippery slope to addiction thank you Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Sorry, guys, that was harder than I thought it would be. My brain kept going. Sorry. Oh, that, was that, was, that was beautiful. That, was amazing. That, that, last, that last bit had me tingling like, mm. oh, cocktail bar bit. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I've ever, um, I've ever done it off the page. You know, when your brain's like, does this work? Because I've read it, but I've not actually it said works. it. So, you thank you for listening. Well, and you have nothing to apologize for because that was absolute fire. You even made Rohan tingle. So Yay. With <laughs> being said, it is time we're gonna move into a quick little break. I'm gonna play two or three songs. This is just a time for you to grab a drink, use the loo, do what you need to do, get a duvet, wrap yourself up nice and warm, and come back in five minutos. That's ten, Bexy. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You are very right. <laughs> I had a comeback for that. <laughs> Got you. Got you always, though. Love, man. <laughs> Spirit fingers. That's what I was doing. 
Slap last power. Political statement of time. Carnage, 
Hang on, you don't wanna see me scatter and turn off. Carnage, hang on, you don't wanna see me scatter and turn off. Carnage, hang on, you don't wanna see me scatter and turn off. Holler at me if you ever need smoke. Everything's blessed cause I came with smoke. I don't fear flames cause I'm made from smoke. Fire and flames, that's energy smoke. Free smoke, free smoke. You don't really wanna get a pen stay active. Free smoke, free smoke. Fire sign line, I was made for the action. Holler at me if you ever need smoke. Everything's blessed cause I came with smoke. I don't fear flames cause I'm made from smoke. Fire and flames, that's energy smoke. You don't really wanna get a pen stay active. Fire sign line, I was made for the action. Free smoke, free smoke. Free smoke, free smoke. Free smoke, free smoke. Free smoke, free smoke. And still we rise. From the darkest blue lights till we see the morning sky. We done been through the pain, we wiped the tears from our eyes. Oh, we tried to get by. Hey, we tried. We were broke, but my man showed you couldn't tell. Only child always playing on my feet and spell. Middle East and woman, no, they never seeking help. It was just a young mum with her little girl. Thought in English, prayed in Arabic. London is the narrative. Big city, tall buildings in the day. But when you speak to me, I just always carry weight. Pronounce my keys when speaking to establishments. I drop them when I leave too heavy to be carrying. Benefits, evictions, a system. Try to bring you down while you fall to resistance. Writing poems and stories so I escape the real. To feel a moment of glory when I step up to kill. The mic on the daily, how many do we win? You remember the score, maybe it's an epic shit. Amazing. 
amazing amazing so yes welcome back to mind over matter digital your favorite poetry hub where spoken word meets hip hop and mental health meets music um if you're just joining us you missed a fire fire first half um big shout out to everyone in right now on my little screen here um make sure you hit subscribe and don't keep this live to yourself um dm it to a friend tell them to tune in because they're not going to want to miss this next half and i think we should all be shared so just a few quick shout outs we have Henna, you have some fans in here. Um, Mohammed said, hi, Henna, love you, dear. <laughs> Rafisha, um, shout out to Sarah Louise Jones, Isha C, and everybody. So make sure you drop your comments into the comment box. Um, if you hear a poet that you like, drop some fire emoji, drop some, I don't know what the brat brat emoji is. If anybody knows, please let me know. I feel like it's the one with the fireworks, this one. That's it. Thank you, Rohan. Appreciate you. <laughs> so we are going to jump straight into the second half. We, oh, we have a personal fave for you today. And I am biased. So I'm not even going to try and hide it. Yeah, she's great. She's amazing. You're going to love her. You can buddy, for Amalia the Alchemist. Screen, Hi guys, I am Molly the Alchemist. I'm a black artist and a female poet from South East London originally. And I hope that I can live up to that introduction. But here we go. Can I just hold you for one second? And cool. if you'd like to unmute yourself now, and then the screen is all yours if you can just unmute. Yeah. Did you, can you hear me guys? Yes, I can see you guys just say, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. My head scarf is wrapped, so don't you dare touch my hair. I've had it before many times in many lives. They were inspired by me then. You see, they admired me and then they took what is mine. I see my life flash by in my dreams. I feel like this world really isn't what it seems. I go for walks down N15, take away 10. You see me, the alchemist. I've lived in five different boroughs since 2010. And now I'm in women. Let me say that again. And now I'm in Islington, where women stay who have been estranged or strayed away from their family. In etymology, the family means the house of slaves. Refuge, kids, kids in refuge, they're fighting each other. They're playing games, they're fighting every day in a fortnight. They're using weapons, but their mothers have never called on their duty to find an alternative. And then, they play PS4, but don't have PS4, their families to leave the door because their fathers left them and beat them better off, left for dead. True facts. Whoa. Well, their, their mothers hold their heads in dread. And whilst my headscarf is wrapped, don't you dare. <laughs> I think you've get the message. You see, these laws of attraction, they are purgatory. Believe in you. You believe in you and I and I, we are perfectly in sync. Bask in your winning instead of your sins. I will live like a queen and white light surrounds me like my pearly white tea. Yeah, I think I've lost my bit right now, but I'm gonna get back to it. Listen, I dread the day I have to pay off my student debt whilst my head underneath it is in dread. <laughs> I'm on a mission. I've met my tribe. I'm on a quest to stop vibing with lower frequencies that when the energy isn't met. They're like Amalia, didn't you know? They're not man enough for you. I create rhymes, all right. I make rhymes that are right. I look like the lines from Tony Braxton or Erica Badu. You ask me if you can come through, but why is it that you make it a list of things to do? And underneath line two, you say only if you can come to. Question mark, dot, dot. Dot, I'm typing, dot, dot, waiting, shit, period. I just got my period. Do I stand for equality? Yes. But why is it that we must engage in intercourse, but our, our discourse falls flat when I ask, can we create with our words instead? See, I'm me, I'm on a quest to be like, so we got better things to do, boy. You know that relationship that's going really, really, really well, and then you overcomplicate it with sex. And then you go from best friends to strangers, and then he leaves you on red. Mm, true fact. But this one, this one's full of emotion. But baby, like an ocean, I go deep. I want to know all of you and all of me. 
I'm in love with your mind and I'm in love with me. I want to swim with your thoughts. However, it's the day after and now we're mixing gibberish in our lips when really, y'all guys, listen to this. Love, it starts from within. Off topic. Now I'm black. Yes, I'm back. I'm thinking about me. I'm thinking about us. I am a queen. Protect this energy. No next man can come in between because I'm residing high because my vibes are high and so I don't get high. I'd rather write and rewire my brain until my DNA changes change. I'd rather change than stay the same. You see, I've come a long, long way from the days that I buy a Benz with my change. <laughs> and poetry with purpose, it feels so free to me. But I had lessons that I had to learn frequently. Whilst looking for love, I realized I deeped it. <laughs> it was me that I had to meet. I've come a very long way. I achieve my writing, I stay adjusted to these frequencies. At 15, my three brothers, they would play FIFA Street. Yes, I've come a long way. At this time, I've been, let me say that again. At 15, my three brothers would play FIFA Street. At this time, poems, but I shout out to everyone in the comments. Do I, born in 1996. And I'm 23 and here's my story that I lived. I wasn't meant to last through my abyss, but I broke my habit and I followed the white rabbit. Why? Well, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm operating from my chakra. Yeah, this life is a test. I'm just taking what is mine. See, I'm eternally blessed. In the morning, say, our oh, father, always trying my best. I've got a lot of love. Let me know what show's coming next so I can give it to you. Ashe. Thank you guys. Shout out to all of you that shouting out to me. Yeah, I'll Yo! see you guys. Cheers! Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. And so she came with the energy. Uh, energy. So she threw down her phone. She said, I'm operating for my chakra. What? Amalia. Mm -hmm. Set it off, set it off for the second half. Thank you so much. So much love in the comments. You awoke a lot of people. Casta Blanca said mad energy and I agree. So we are going to move straight into our next open micer who already has some fans in the comments. So if you have any emojis, make sure you drop them there and leave them there for the one and only Henna. Make some noise guys for Henna to the screen. <laughs> Go on Henna, South London, stand up. <laughs> Um, that, yeah, that, Amelia, that was amazing. It got me some adrenaline rushing through. Oh my God. But I'm going to take some of that energy and try and put that into my piece. Um, this Wait two seconds and um, unmute yourself. I think you're still muted, Henna. You're muted. Unmute. <laughs> So I was I was saying that that energy I'm gonna try and use it. That's got adrenaline running through me. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> uh, this piece that I'm gonna do is for people in the system who have no place to call home. Um, it never goes away. The feeling of displacement, no place to call your home, feel at home, always wanting to run away from the discomfort of another person's face. Where does a displaced person run to? Every environment is highly demanding, uncontrollable, unpredictable, unable to feel free, to explore, to be in control and change according to your needs in touch with your desires. Incongruent, feeling like you're, you, you are alone, departed from yourself, mind out of body in the worst way feeling divided and incomplete, Con can't compartmentalize your mind and feel whole. When parts of your life are scattered in places you can't remember, good times and bad, long lost, forgotten, it's so easy to forget, even if it's parts of your identity. No one place to set down memories and familiarity, no stability, no grounding just a cold concrete box called temporary accommodation. 
inconsistency is the key to displacement. Adaptability and resilience is the way out. New disruption, let's face the challenge and overcome it. Come so far, but we've got so far to go. But there are so many going through the same thing, struggle to self-actualize and tell the story, feel that out of body experience where your mind can travel. Believe what you can believe, become who you can become and work towards goals. Let your motivational drives take control and give space for your trapped spirit to soar. What makes your heart sing? What is meaningful to you? Why bother? What feels so great about living? What's it all worth? Provoking thoughts of goals and intentions map out the journey, understanding and acknowledge the route. The destination will soon come. It seems to be a long ride home, but the path is unwritten destiny. Recondition and reappraise. Keep moving. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I totally relate, oh, yeah. cousin. Man, that was amazing. Like, what makes that you? That was amazing. Think? That's such a beautiful line. What makes your heart sing? Thank you so much, Hannah. That was amazing. Um, we're going to move on to our next open micer. She is our resident psychologist at Mind Over Matter. Um, on the last Monday of every month, we also host, well, not when I say we, she does all the hard work. Um, Anna also hosts um, workshops. So make some noise and bringing to the screen Anna Sansky. Oh my God, I'm your biggest fan! I love you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Anna, um, if you just unmute yourself and the screen is all. All right. Okay, so this poem is called, I Want a Real Man. <clears throat> I want a real man. The kind that will devour tons and tons of meat. And before seeing me, he'll be out all day waiting to defeat his next prey. Flowers? I don't, I don't want that shit. Bring me a bunny and snap its neck right before my eyes. And I better not hear any cries as its tiny hopeless body falls in your hands. Cause I want a man who understands. Compassion and empathy are not sexy. I want a real man, the kind that bottles up all his feelings and never ever feels insecure. I want a man who's always sure he feels nothing. I want a real man, the kind that always earns more than me, so obviously I can't get too ambitious for this dream man of mine, never as smart as him, always a few steps behind, but that's all right, because this man is going to give me all I need. And when he has more than enough, I want him to sink in greed and never stop. I want a real man, the kind that only thinks about power, sex, and money. And when things get tough, he pretends they're not or just finds them funny. I want a man that has one emotion and one emotion only anger and when he feels lonely or sad or full of grief and when things don't go his way he doesn't talk about it Come on, there's nothing to say he goes and gets drunk or high and if you ask him about these feelings obviously he needs to lie no sorry not lie I mean he doesn't have these feelings at all because he's a real man after all and one day he'll be gone and we'll all wonder what went wrong and why he never opened up or asked for help all along and we'll ask why he's never shown any feelings at all. And that will be because he's a real man after all. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. Killed it. <laughs> I love that piece so much. Yes. Wow. Thank you. And also, as Bexy said, um, if you guys want, then please join my workshop. It's a writing and a psychotherapeutic workshop. Brilliant. And you're going to send the link into the comments on the YouTube, just in case? Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Um, we are going to move on to our next open micro. We have Zuon, Zu only. They call him AOK -OK Poet. Where are you? Make some noise, everybody, for AOK. -OK. Hello, hello, hello. Yo, can I just say what a second half 
Oh my days. Oh, I've, I've, yeah, damn. I'm blown away. I'm in, it's intense. <laughs> Brilliant. So if you can just unmute yourself now and then the screen is all yours. Wow, go on. Right. I'm going to do a piece. It's called Small Town Hymns. If you know the term country lines, it's about that. If you don't know the term, you're blessed. Um, I've grown up in small towns my whole life and small towns always have drug and alcohol and various problems like that. So I'll say no more. And this is my piece, um, Small Town Hymns. <clears throat> life as we know it. Weakness fam, I wouldn't show it. Flinging fists and fears into the ocean, flow with it. It always feels like this, just go with it. Liquor like fire in my throat debut Body like lightning when I strike you No, I didn't come to fight you But if that's what it's come to, then come through I'll show you these fists ain't untrue This rage ain't something you can undo I'm like the shit-faced Sun Tzu Black and blue, give the devil his due That will do, that will do Dash daylight to shrink behind the curtain Curtail sobriety, rolling dice uncertain Pile regret and shove it on that bridge we're burning Spend every penny on that stomach churning Each minute a movement momentarily delayed Summer, summer a song dripped gold but she never stayed All those shreds of melody and memory repeated, played But she never stayed Another night of starry excellence, spheres of influence spiraling together in coalescence, drugs enough to send your body into turbulence. Careful you don't end up in the ambulance. Brov, who the fuck put on Evanescence? Fuck that, knock another pill back and hit the floor black. Forget what you lack, put it in a pack and with a receipt send it back. It's easy, you just gotta find the knack, give it a crack. A fight or flight to take you through the night, alright? No need to follow any other light, you'll see I'm right. Cinder sunder, another bender blunder This morning body like ash, throat like thunder A drunken stumbling, one hit wonder Pissed out the fire built under Sunk aspirations washed up in some shipwreck Traded it for silent movies and lunar movements Hit the deck, left regret to deflect Hit the button and eject We're going down hard, I suspect The circuit boards fried with the relays Some more days left in a daze Who am I kidding? This form defecates what was it? I've forgotten that phrase. Something about hope. Skimming off the tide surface to show us we can resurface. Giving it a go, we can replace our aspirations that we daily to face. Petty, squirrel, petty quarrels and speeds, a clusterfuck rat race. Hold on to your socks and brace. Anything left in that frayed memory trace? Fraying all the further in hyperspace. What comes next? Life as we should have known it fucked off our heads at 3am fighting fears with dreams and finding it only turns the latter to nightmares. My mind chambers sorrows, yes, but this chest is a fire still and I'll be damned if I don't turn history pages of all these flares. Nerves like lightning when I choose not to fight. I haven't talked to my friends in time. I don't know if they're alright. I got out. Apparently I'm bright. That's what they say, you know, that I carry a light slung over my shoulders, push pulling trains in attraction from fleeing and fleeing from sight. Dodged grim fate, left and right. Just. Let's listen to all that suicidal suburban dust and just like that, let my sight fall away from them and adjust. So now, when dawn spreads fire to their gravestones, I know not what to write. What is the word for life, 17, snuffed out in chemical lust? I know not what to write, only that I must, only that it's just. Thank you. Na, 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 na. Insane. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm welcome. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Appreciate, appreciate the love and thank you to the Mind of Matter crew as well for putting this stuff on like consistently through the lockdown. <laughs> Bless. Um, we tried, it's, it's all because of you guys. Like, I don't know what you guys have done to the second half, but like, you've just like, the energy is just, is mad. Aaron, like, someone said you have a nice gaming headset. Agreed. Um, love this energy. Big fat stinking bars from the man himself. <laughs> I would, who says that? Okay, that 
that name is too long to read. So go to the YouTube comments to find out who that was, Erin. Maybe it's a friend of yours. <laughs> but your bars were on point. Absolutely loved it. Um, thank you very much for gracing our screen. Um, we are going to move on to a, a newcomer to our cyber love family. So if you can make the biggest noise and the biggest welcome for the one they called Sahar. Sahar, where are you? <laughs> Hi everyone, can you hear me? <laughs> okay, just unmute yourself and the screen is all yours. Can you hear me? Great, awesome. Um, well, thank you so much for allowing me to be in this um, space with you. I'm very happy to be here with you. Um, and I am going to be reading a poem called time lapse and it's basically kind of about how fast I guess life goes. <laughs> so uh, here it goes. I used to sit inside my heart of hearts, holding on to all the memories that I could fit onto my fingertips. Over and over my nails were chipped, my grasp loosens from all I've known, my hands morph from old to new, like Mother Nature, I change in front of you. And my father reminds me of this transformation when he compares me to foreigners from separate lands, similar to the one that we live in, but it's not quite right the land for me. My friends remind me of this change too, when they can't seem to understand why I still write songs about them. And I, when I asked you to come to my performance, and treated it like it was a funeral. I used to be able to pinpoint at everything. Now my mind is jaded with too much memory and time is not on my side. The clock is ticking, the scythe is moving, the sun is setting between my eyes and it burns a fire one last time. Thank you, that's it. Thank you very much for listening. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm so happy to connect with you all. Um, I would like you all are so amazing. I'm so glad I found you. Um, so definitely I will be following everyone. Hundred percent. And we're so glad to have you. And you will be back if we have to drag you here, kicking and screaming. Thank you so much. Like mother, you I change in front of you. I've always here for you. Woo! Thank you so much. Yes, Amalia, speak it, speak it. <laughs> Soul tribes are the one, the one. Oh, I feel in a loving mood now. Thank you for that. Um, we're going to move on to our next open micer now. We have coming to the screen, the one and only Mr. King Stammers. Where are you with your beautiful shirt? There you are, sir. Make some noise, everybody. Yeah. Hello, Mind Over Matter. How are you all doing? You all good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Um, thank you so much, Mind Over Matter, for having me. Um, before we start, um, Bexy Bex, can I ask a massive favour? Of course, you can, sir. What do you need? So, I've got three poems that I can't decide between. I've got one really serious one, which is me ranting political, <laughs> and I've got two others. One is about me losing my shit with a printer. I want about waiting for a bus in the rain. Um, I'm going to let you decide which one would you like. You know what? I have had a long-standing feud with printers, so I'm going to go with number two, definitely. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking the shit out of a printer. Got it. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, back to back. Thank you, um, everyone. In mind over matter. Thank you for having me. I don't know why, but you keep inviting me back to lower the tone, and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, this one. Um, it's called Printer Jam. I hope you enjoy it. This one's dedicated to anyone who works in an office. So today I lost my shit with the printer in my office. But the last time that the damn thing worked was around the winter solstice, though I suppose it's more accurate to say as much as I hate the printer to say that really I sort of lost my shit at how my life's begun to splinter. So to set the scene, we needed notes from meeting with a client and I was tasked with sourcing copy because I'm known for being compliant, polite, calm, patient, kindly, but efficient. 
And for these reasons, so I'm told, my boss found it sufficient, electing me to be the one to try and work the inkjet to my caffeinated serenity against this paper jam beset. And so it was that I perched down next to a row of blinking lights, tasked with feeding A4 into the department's errant blight. Please just take the fucking paper before I send you to meet your maker in parts so infinitesimally small they won't be able to repair you at all. It beeped in C minor, as if taking the piss, sobbing desperately as it come to this, when all at once I screamed off that and loved the clunky malfunctioning twat. Oh, it's time to take a measure, drastic fists connect with molded plastic, hacking away at its metallic nuts, gargling as it spews its inky guts, it beeps again, this time lower in tone, grumbling in great anodyne moans, one stiff kick in it, Bountifully flows on its last, picking up great viscous rainbows, soiling its load all over the carpet. This little piggy's gone completely to market print as a write off shit's been totaled. Words gone round that the admin's gone postal, feet and fists just caked in amber. The assembled departments bore witness to the anger. Ellie from HR recoils in horror. I think I'm due a P45 tomorrow as it finally erupts in prismic fountains of colour, each one brighter bolder, fuller, evoking emotions inside of me that I've not felt since the summer of 03. A simpler time when I just started college, before all us humans kept wireless hostage, when we could all just simply switch off, before we bore the bastard of Facebook aloft. Silence now, the deed is done. The air hangs heavy, each breath a ton. Magenta ink all up my shirt, across this carpet, up Ellie's skirt. The Lexmark folds in on itself with a sickening click as JT for my team letters, fuck me, that escalated quick. So today I lost my shit with an inanimate thing. But they finally ordered a new printer. So I guess that's one praise we can sing. Mind over matter, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Shout to Fisky and to Bexy Bex. Thank you for uh, letting me come and join everything again. It's greatly appreciated. <laughs> 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 yeah! <laughs> Oh, snap. <laughs> I needed that. That was fucking great. That was the struggle is real. The struggle Trust is real. Right. Like, I don't understand why I understood every word of that poem. <laughs> like, I felt it on every emotional level. Like, he said it blinked in C minor. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, King. You are dope. And can't wait to have you back again to lower the tone once more and heighten it at the same time um so we are down to our last open micro for the evening this is where you bit say oh thank you for everyone that's in the comments um make sure you've hit subscribe so you can find out when our next show is but before you do that it's not quite over yet because we still have one more treat for you so can we all make some noise for our final open micer, Hazel in the building. Hazel, where are you at? Zoop, 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 zoop. Is that what is here? Let's go. Crush it, right. crush it, crush um, it. I'll be honest, I'm a bit nervous about this one. Um, content warning, it's a freaking sexy poem. Okay. Yes. Um, so this is cool. Everybody, and then the floor is all yours if you just unmute yourself and go for it. So this is Anywhere But The Bedroom Poetry. You haven't even entered the room and here I am. My senses standing to your attention. There's tension. Eyes covered, I'm kneeling. Even the feeling of my wrists rubbing against each other has my river running onto these covers. I forget to breathe. This is our red room. The door clicks, my thighs move, that damp shift. I still can't hear you, but I can feel you. Feel 
two pulses racing, but you must have sensed my pheromones letting slip a subtle moan, that temporary loss of control. From across the room, your grip takes hold. You've got me. And I swear, these seconds feel like years as I wait and anticipate your next move. You've got every inch of me crying out. You've picked up my scent of that, I have no doubt, and here I am. My senses standing to your attention. There's tension. Eyes covered. I'm kneeling. I know your silence holds meaning and you're drinking me in, letting the sight sink in. You know you've got me. And I can be your plaything. Hell, I'd do anything to hear you strap those inches and feel you put the tip in, but I wait. I hear Russell. I dare not move a muscle as your fingers pull at that strap and the metal unfastens your belt. And my inches now screaming for the inches you're not giving. I'll take the welt of the belt, but baby, please now connect to me the way you have with me. And here I am. My senses standing to your attention. There's tension. Eyes covered. I'm kneeling. Now already I'm almost feeling the sensation on my skin as I wait for you to begin. I let out a glut of I let out a gasp as you flick my clip, my nipples harden, just reach for that hard on. I anticipate every tickle and burn from strokes and flames in turn with flicks and licks, my skin engulfed by desire. Another subtle noise. I'm poised mid flow, I await the next blow. Let me blow you. So sit on my face and let me get a taste. I won't let a drop go to waste as your river is running. Fuck, I'm blushing. I'm moaning. And here I am, my senses standing to your attention. There's tension. Eyes covered, I'm kneeling. This feeling grips tight as my walls will to you. Let my voice work its way to you. Fingers in my mouth, I cry out, let me devour. Give me power, now the taste replaced. But you can't gag the knowledge that I'll taste good on you. As I wait to see, I swear I've turned the bed into the sea and you've only just grabbed the paddle. You untie the cover on my eyes, the damp on your thighs, a reaction, and there's nothing peaceful about the eruption pieces of me will bring to the table, so bring me to the table. King, I'm not sure which strap you'll bring, but baby, strap me down, strap up and bring yourself into me, because here I am, my senses standing to your attention. There's tension. I don't know how much more I can take. My body shakes as I wait for you to take me for how slowly this has escalated. No, you quickly elevated my desire and a hungry which can't be satiated till you deeply penetrate it, it's fire. And I know I'll get burned because I want you to. Crying at the hot drops, feeling the table shake and rock till the ice cube, your first words, this is going inside you, fuck you. I want to, please. You'd have me down on my knees, but I'm tied. I don't know if it's my juices or your eyes. You look me in the eyes and begin to nibble my thigh, deftly working the inside. I'm shaking. It's building. I can feel it. I'm interrupted. Baby, take it. You reach up without pause, pull my hair, and God, I can't hold it anymore. And I shake, the waves cascade, and each wave flows into another, and I release my screams. We move, baby, breathe. I freeze to breathe. My mouth filled with your tongue, we're one and the same, I'll taste and like the waves I don't stop coming as I give in to what you're giving. Usually I don't just sit and take it, but I'll let us switch roles and take hold as we switch positions. Your mouth listens. This is your show and here I am, my senses standing to your attention. There's tension. Hey. Woo, Charles, be yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Lord wow. have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah. How to end the you know? Bring the heat. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's to blame for this one. How? One hundred percent to blame for it. He he requested it. Because <laughs> it broke Quincy. So. <laughs> Oh my god, I absolutely love it. But Miss, don't this is lockdown, right? A lot of us don't have like indoor indoor boyfriends or girlfriends. So you okay, so lovehoney.com, glass <laughs> dildo, magic wand, you're set. 
the fact the COVID survival pack. Christ, Lord, we need the Bible. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, what about for the gentleman? Um, I don't know, not my bag, to be honest. <laughs> See, we are also educational. Bro, I love it. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hazel, for sending out the last half with an absolute bang. Um, everyone in the first half, you guys were absolutely amazing. Likewise, in the second half, um, we're going to play out with one song. Thank you all for coming, everyone in the comments. There are social medias that we're going to post. Remember, we do this on the last Tuesday of every month. If you would like to get involved, if you would like to join us, um, just follow us on Instagram, drop us a DM or an email. It's at Mind Over Matter, LDN on Instagram. So follow us there, keep in tune, and we will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye. Wave to the people, everybody. I'm addicted to this poetical art form. The fact is I've got to fight more because every time I put this pen to paper, it starts to feel like a damn chore. Man, I've got no words to speak, so I listen more. Yeah, mama be a better son to you. I just keep getting lost in the heat of it all. You see, I got to a real poor state. It's something that I do almost perfectly. Aced it, chose to escape it in many different ways. I broke bread once more, now I'm pacing. Impatiently waiting, slowly tasting blood. Caught up, wait, hands up, fight, guns are blazing. We're still fighting for changes when it's black. Going to be a synonym for amazing as opposed to everything that represents Satan. This is all driving me insane. What an incarnation. But I'm a cyclist. Ah, the labels I'm erasing. Self defining while pitiful judgment is blatant. So I keep telling myself, hold on, don't waste it. Let go of all the hatred, face it. They won't smile at you forever. Soon comes more disappointment. So I'm learning, I'm rising, and I'm taking flight once again. I am thanking God for life, yes. Hey.